Hi friends, welcome to Azure video tutorials. Today I am going to explain you about Azure data flow transformations. So one of the transformation called surrogate key. So if you have a requirement to create a unique column in your target, that's called a generating a sequence column. You can say surrogate key or you can say primary key. So if you have any data warehousing system and if you want to generate keys, then you can use this surrogate key in Azure pipelines. So here I'm going to start with a sample example and I have a source file which is available in my storage account. I'm going to show you where it's available. It's in containers. I have created one container called source. There I am storing a sample file that's called employee.csv. So using this as a source, I'm going to create a target file with additional surrogate key. So how to use a surrogate key transformation in Azure ADF. So this is the file in my data factory. I have created already data sets, which you can see here, employee source. Then I'm going to create a new pipeline pipeline name I'm going to use surrogate key or you can say okay then so go to activities and let move your data flow here then it will ask to create a new one or use existing one so I'm going to create new data flow data flow surrogate key okay yes key then so here you can click on add source so it will be added and you need to select your source file so source file means whatever you have created data set that's a source data set this one which is a connecting to your you can if you go to your connections you can here you can see azure blob storage okay so i have already created a, a data sets for this requirement then change your name if you want to change here again you can click on plus there is a plus symbol here you will get all the options means all the transformations like if you want to use joints filters any conditions so you can use here so i'm going to use surrogate key then here you will be getting options key column so key column is required means i'm going to create uh, employee key okay and start with one so if you want to use any um, if you want to start with some thousand or some mid value you can use that value but i'm going to start with one and the default increment will be one then i'm going to add a target here there's a sync okay then i'm going to select my target data set which i have already created this emp target which it will be created in my data lake so if you go to edit here you can see this is a data set connections in azure data lake i have created one folder called target it will be created that file that file name here you can give go to settings if you want to create a default file it will be created default or if you want to use single output file but if we have a large source data like a huge source data so better to go for default it will be created multiple files splitting like okay then i'm going to create a sample file that's why i can create a single file that's ascii emp.csv then you can validate this no issues no errors you can publish so I'm going to publish and go to your data lake a target folder where we are going to create a target file. So currently it's empty. Data Explorer this is my data lake target folder. Here it's empty now. Now it is still publishing. Then go to your pipeline. There are two ways you can execute this. One is a debug another one is using a trigger figure now 
this you can create a trigger for future schedule and if you want to use this option debug this should be enabled that's called data flow debug option should be enabled now i'm going to trigger this because the publish is has been completed this means that whatever pipeline we have created it is saved then click on debug those session will be available here here you can see if you use the debug option the session will be displayed here and if you use the trigger now the session will be available in your monitor section that's the difference here if you use debug the session will be displayed here okay now this is the session it started so it should create one file in my data lake target folder once it's done there it should create additional column which we have created as key and there is a data preview option is available if you refresh this and you can see the data preview so before running your mapping whatever you have created before running your pipeline and you can verify in your data flow there you can see this is your key which is generating there are 15 records available it is starting with one and it is created 15 records then session has been completed now you can see the file which is available here what's happened yeah so the file is available here whichever we specified the name it is created and uh, this is the employee key which we used the surrogate key and the values here you can see there's a 15 records is starting with one and uh, it has been created 15 values so this is the way we can go for using surrogate key and uh, in data preview also you can see that the same okay then so if you want to start with some values so i want to start with some thousand okay then validate this can publish this and uh, data preview if you want to see you can see individual uh, objects here data preview is available and uh, this data preview will be available if we enable this data flow debug option because the data preview only available if we enable this data flow debug option so i have enabled already now i'm doing this data preview and uh, this only surrogate key data queue okay this target means all columns here only surrogate key so if you want all the columns including your surrogate key you can go to your target click on here you can so you can do the data preview here refresh it again and it will take uh, some time This is the target how we are expecting here so this is the individual individual what are the conditions if we are using see the values have started with thousand thousand one up to thousand fourteen okay so this is the way we can go for using a surrogate key and later for example if i want to get the latest value from my table because what will happen if you use this now so you, you are using always starting with the thousand so if you are running every day so the value always start with thousand so i want to get the latest value from my table what you can do you can create a variable you can create a parameter or a variable and you can use that variable to get the max value from your existing table which is the latest and that you can pass here now after that it will start from that value so max value plus one okay you can use your variable at the rate the 
that value you can use any variable whichever you are going to use then it will increase the value based on your requirement so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates on my channel thank you very much